guys, it's Sienna, and welcome back to C Caesar. So today we got pretty much through our phases and I'm actually quite excited because I'm not really sure of like ex exactly what's gonna happen, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like probably like, you know, like a pitch, like pictures of them like growing up and like through their faces and stuff so i'm excited to see if it's that because if it's that you know we're gonna be able to see them you know my little babies growing up like ooh, 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 you know like just growing up so that's gonna be so cute so hopefully that's what it is but let's just go ahead and get into it i always remember being in a, like a very like music oriented household so my parents only let me listen to like christian radio and like Everything that was like top 40 radio. Uh, I remember listening to like Elton John and like James Taylor and uh, Chicago and things like that. And I was like nine maybe. Uh, I used to sing uh, Don't Chop the Lights. Uh, yeah, Henry K. Glaces. I, I knew like all that stuff, but then my dad used to like let me listen to like Boys to Men, Dub the Vote, New Edition. It was dub. It wasn't until I think middle school and high school that I started really like branching out and like listening to my own like taste. I think I was like mm -hmm. like seven. So I, I had normal hair. Like I had a normal like my dad like having boot cuts on us. As a kid, my parents always had me have my hair short like it is now. Like this. Like my this? parents always made me cut my hair and they used to like chase me around the house with the the buzzers. Uh, my mom ah! decided to cut our hair one time and she put patches of blonde on my hair and I looked like a leopard. Ah! So I, I did the leopard thing that Tyler did in the uh, See You Again video way before he did, so. Way before I used to really like my hair spiked up, like spiked all around. It was just spiky everywhere. Mm -hmm. It just looked like a big spike fro. A and then I fro. shaved my head at one point, which was like a really bad idea because it looked like Steve-O. And then I shaved it all off and I was like, oh my gosh, I look ridiculous. So I, I look ridiculous. That Going into high school, I kind of grew my hair out and left it curly. People would call me Bruno Mars. I tried to like Aww. buzz my hair and like wear in this like top knot. It was it was bad. I didn't know it what was I was bad. doing. And since I was a dancer, dancers just always like to like to dress different and and I would always wear my sweatpants, my dance sweatpants, but for some reason I would always have my pockets out. So like I would pull my pockets out. Y'all hear my and sound in the back? Because I thought that was fly, but really I just looked like I was broke. I always wanted to be fashion forward but I didn't really have the budget to be, so I tried to stay ahead of the trend, but like it never really worked out. It never really I worked out. up here, wearing kids giving the middle finger. Stop. <laughs> vibrant colors. But yeah, I've been through some crazy phases with my style. In the pretty much phase, the phase that I'm in now, uh, I'm very proud of and very happy about because we all, as a five piece, we push we push each other to be better and to mm -hmm. get better we're motivated and we motivate each other i feel like not a lot of groups have like lived with each other have been with each other as much as we have so we're like we're brothers at this brothers point. pretty brothers. much like we're, we're family i was a really different person when i got into the band pretty much and for me this whole phase of my life being around these guys being around the people that i'm around um, and learning as much as that i have uh and oh. being able to travel as much as i've gotten to uh I feel like this is the time in my life of change and understanding. Now more than ever, I'm just really feeling creative and um, I'm just trying to express it in every way I can, honestly. Faces out now. Aww. We love y'all. Go stream it. Go get it. Go stream it. Go get it. Faces is out now. Ah. Gonna be hype. Peace. I love you guys. I love all of you. I love all of them. They're little faces. I'm kind of sad that it wasn't like what I thought it was. Like I really wanted to see like pictures of them growing up. Like that. That kind of that. That kind of made me happy. So you know, now my dreams are crushed in the trash. But I think this was cute because we actually got an explanation of their faces. So we we, we got faces of hair. We got faces of who they are and faces of dresses dresses of, of how they dress let me let me correct it of how they dress so i think that was super cute i'm i'm just i'm excited
excited for them. I'm excited to see them grow. I'm excited to see them evolve. I'm excited to see their phases from here into the next five years, the next 10 years. Like I'm just excited for them as a whole and individually. Like I just, I sincerely root for all of them and they literally make me so happy and it's ridiculous how people that you don't know have such an effect on your whole entire life. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, yeah, I like their little faces. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want me to react to. And Blue Hearts and Trippers.